Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I have been tagged by several people to do a video of five of my favorite non-luxury things. And I was also tagged by several people to do a video of five of my favorite things. Coincidentally, my non-luxury things are also what I consider luxury to me. So I'm kind of combining this into one video and I hope that you'll enjoy it. I don't really have the luxury things as far as handbags or jewelry or uh, clothing or shoes or anything like that. I'm pretty down to earth here. We're uh, very rural and we don't get dressed up and we don't go places. So my life does not require or ask of me to have things that uh, most people could consider luxury. So this is what I consider luxury, which most people would not consider luxury, and I hope it uh, meets the parameters of the requirement for this tag. Uh, thank you for joining me. My first non-luxury item that I absolutely love and actually couldn't live without. I couldn't live without, I could live without diamonds. I could live without furs. Well, I would never wear furs anyway, because I don't uh, do, I don't wear furs, but, um, or, need, or need them. But this is my first luxury item or non-luxury item that I love. And it is my, oops, five times, 15 times makeup mirror. It's a lighted makeup mirror. When you plug it in, I don't know if the cord will reach. It barely reaches and this is, it gets really light. And this is not a uh, regular bulb in here. This is a bulb that does not have to be changed ever. It's an LED bulb. And this is 15 times magnification. And this mirror has saved my life. And I mean that literally because I had skin cancer. And since I had skin cancer, I was always, I knew that the treatment that my doctor did, I asked for Mohs surgery, I did not get Mohs surgery, which is the definitive treatment. And my doctor said I didn't need it. Well, three and a half years later, thanks to this mirror, I saw a recurrence that my doctor didn't see. And I went to him and I said, uh, you know, what is this? He said, well, you have two options. You can either have a biopsy or you can wait a month and it'll be gone. So I totally opted, opted to have a biopsy immediately and I told him if this comes back positive, I'm getting most surgery. And he said, okay. And he doesn't do most surgery. He had to send me somewhere else because it did come back positive, but he didn't see it. Only I saw it thanks to this mirror. This is an awesome mirror. I use it every day for everything. I use it, I use it when I brush my teeth. I use it when I do my makeup, I, you know, when I'm grooming. This is a great mirror and I love it. I also use it to read small print because I, I, if you put it in the mirror, you have to be able to read backwards, which I've learned to adapt to backwards reading because this is even better than my eyeglasses. So this is my first uh, non-luxury item. This is the box, that, this is the brand, and I absolutely highly, highly recommend it. Okay, that's my first. Then my second luxury item, or non-luxury item I should say, is, is my cookware. Uh, several people have commented about my cookware as I'm doing videos and it was suggested that I use my cookware by actually Joshi Michael to during this video. So this is my La Creuset. You never actually see this pot when it's on the refrigerator because it's behind all the other pots. And this is this is very very heavy, extremely heavy and this is a brazier. And it's also a, a cabinet.
casserole and uh, could be used as a fry pan as well. And this is my, I think this is my favorite piece of La Crosse that I have. I don't use it much, but I do like it a lot. And I, this is the only piece I did not get from William Sonoma. Everything else I got, this I got from Amazon. And it was a good deal. I, I think I paid $1.99 at the time. Also in my La Crosse are these two pieces. This is a two and three quarter, um, uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? Two and three quarter, I think it's a casserole dish, something like that. And it's this signature line, and I have never used it. I liked it because of the color, it's color, the color's oyster, but I always thought it would be too small for me, and it is. But it looks nice on the refrigerator. And my other La Crusade is this one. This is five and a half quarts. My God, these things are very, very heavy. This I used once. I washed it and it peeled. The, the white part came off. I called um, William Sonoma right away and they sent me another one. And this is the replacement. And I'm afraid to use it because I don't want to ruin it. So I bought this, which is the large, L-O-D-G-E, large version of this type of cookware. And this I got from Amazon for $59. All these other La Pousse are $400 and $300. They're very expensive. That's why I consider it luxury because who spends that amount of money on cookware? That's really, I was going through a phase where I wanted everything. And that's what I did. The lodge, you don't have to worry about. It's supposed to develop a patina. It's supposed to look like this. Because it's, <laughs> excuse me, it's cast iron. These are all cast iron. So that is my second favorite in my cast iron cookware. My third favorite is my stainless steel cookware. And let me move the camera so you could see. Sorry about that. This cookware is the Viking brand. This pan alone cost almost $400. Everything I bought from the Viking line, I, I did not buy in a set. I bought each piece. It, it took years to accumulate for a birthday gift, for a Christmas gift. As everything, Mother says, everything came along, whatever you know, my children and my husband gave me, which is usually gift cards, I purchased these with, and it took a long time. This is extremely heavy too, but this is a great pan if, well, Easter, I'm gonna be making, I make sauce, people call it sauce, we call it gravy, it's Italian uh, sauce for macaroni, and I uh, saute the meatballs in here, the whole two pounds of meat, meatballs easily. piece of the Viking is this. This is called a saucier, a saucier. And see how the, how the, um, it's shallow compared to a saucepan and the sides are out. This is great for making sauces where you're using a whisk, but I don't use it for that. I use it for oatmeal. And it, I just like it so much better than a regular saucepan which is this. I hardly ever use this at all. I have this in three different sizes. This is the small, I have medium and large. And uh, initially when I got this set and if I was making 
um, like boiled potatoes or something like that. I use the larger one, but I seldom use this anymore. And this is, let me tell you a little about Viking cookware. Viking, uh, uh, this is actually made by a company called De Meyer, and th this is made in Belgium, and it's seven layers. It's, uh, it's aluminum, and sandwiched between aluminum and stainless steel, sandwiched between aluminum alloys, which is a combination of aluminum, aluminum and stainless steel. It's a, it's a seven ply, it's a high tech, thick aluminum layers, and they are, it's commercial, it, on the outside is commercial quality 18, oh, 18 by 10 uh, stainless steel. And as I said, it's made in Belgium. When I first got this, my husband really liked this set, liked this, these pieces, and um, I was like this because I really wanted um, all clad, because that's what was on all the shows on um, the, the <coughs> excuse me the Food Network. So, so my fourth um, favorite thing is my all clad pieces, which are all there. I bought all those pieces individually. Also, I'll bring the camera over so you can see it a little better. This is a great piece. This you could steam vegetables or make macaroni in. It has like a strainer. It's so easy to clean. And this is actually the, the pan I use most. This is the, the non-stick all-fed version. And that was only $69 at William Sonoma. If you join William Sonoma, if you sign up for their emails, they will start sell, sending you um, discounts, 25%, 30% now and then. And I always waited for a discount. And my fifth, where is my fifth? Uh, oh, oh, well, I didn't show you these. This is the all cleared version. This is a, um, a roaster. This is five pounds without the grating in it. This is the, ah, this is the Viking version. Oh gosh. That gave me the chills. This is the Viking version. This is nine pounds, and my sink is too small for it. I used this once. This one I have never used, ever. This is a gift from my son and my daughter-in-law. Never used it, even though I love it. I use, I'll show you what I use. I use this. I got this for ten dollars at Bed Bath and Beyond. I line it with tin foil, and I just use it for everything. And let me. Sh I don't know if you're you're aware of that. This is called this big pot that I showed you. I have three of these, and these. Are, this is called a sauté pan. Oh, and they all. Everything has a cover, by the way. And the difference between a sauté pan and a frying pan or a skillet is the sides. These sides are angled, these sides are straight. And I, oh yes, and my fifth item, let me tell you my fifth item. I just remembered what it was. And this is last but not least at all. This is my scale. I use it every day. I use it when I show you bags. I use it when I, I get large containers of yogurt and I, uh, I 
make it a portion size on, in my bowl, which I use uh, 160 to 180 grams. And this, so I, I could buy something economically and dish it out instead of buying the little cups, which are more expensive. And this weighs in grams, it weighs in pounds, it weighs in ounces. It goes up to 11 pounds. I use it all the time. This is, this is a, a baker scale. And I got this on Amazon. And this is, I couldn't do a favorites or a non-luxury without including this scale. Because you guys have seen me use this all the time. One thing, other thing about the cookware, it all has to be cleaned with this. And this is Barkeeper's Friends. You sprinkle it in and you, otherwise, you, if you uh, cook with something such as beans or even macaroni, you, you'll see the outline of what you cooked unless you use this. And so what I do is I sprinkle it in, wash it with the sponge, and then I wash it with soap and water just to make sure that all the residue of this is gone. So thank you for joining me. I know as far as uh, luxury and non-luxury um, tags go, this isn't, you know, what most people would have expected, but this is actually my life. I have a very um, rural, quiet life, and we are happy with the simple things, and I'm honored to be able to share what I have with you, and I, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you guys. And I couldn't name everybody who tagged me, but I thank you all for thinking of me and including me. And I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now. See you next time.